Does a anybody from the audience have a mini DVI uh, adapter? Yeah, thanks. Um, okay, first uh, few communications. Um, uh, I remind you that uh, this evening we will have at uh, 9 p.m. Uh, in uh, Pizza Margherita here, uh, we'll have the, um, the Python Riddle, a coding competition with, uh, um, uh, with uh, the, the first prize is a MacBook. Uh, and the poster session this afternoon will be at uh, 5.15 will be held in the coffee break hall just after the coffee break inside the hotel okay uh, so now yeah uh, is your microphone working we'll see uh, can you guys hear me maybe now it's better now yeah okay, oh, okay. Uh, oh, we can record it uh, I guess you all know Guido Van Rossum okay <laughs> and uh, yeah, our benevolent dictator for life. Yeah, semi-retired, I, I guess. <laughs> yes. Okay, and he's talking about uh, NDB, uh, a new Python client library for Google App Engine. Guido. Okay. Yours. Thanks. So. <laughs> uh, anybody here know what Google App Engine is? Okay, well, you're, you're in the right track. Anybody here actually use Google App Engine? Oh, okay, there, there's a couple of uh, App Engine users, so I don't have to explain too much. So, hello. For those of you who don't know what it is or who would like a reminder, uh, you can run web applications in Google's cloud. Google has lots of data centers, lots of machines, uh, lots of management software. Uh, we take a very small part of that and uh, make it available for uh, Google App Engine to run your applications. It really is only a very small part of uh, Google's uh, collection of data centers and computers at the moment. But, of course, if you guys keep using it more and more, uh, the fraction of Google uh, devoted to App Engine will increase. Anyway, App Engine is not your typical cloud provider. We don't just give you a bunch of virtual machines where you can then run whatever you want to. Uh, actually, last week, Google uh, separately launched something like that called uh, Google Compute Service. Uh, however, App Engine, uh, which launched about four years ago, is a quite different kind of system. You basically, you give us the source code of your Python program and we'll run it and we'll automatically scale it. And you, you will never have to know how many machines it runs on or uh, where those machines are. And you, have, you won't have to do any kind of provisioning or configuration of any of those machines. Uh, we also support uh, Java. Python launched first and is still the largest uh, language in use on the platform. We also support uh, Go, the experimental language developed by Google. Uh, I don't know much about statistics of that. Uh, our primary layer for data persistence is a so-called NoSQL data store. It's a unique design for App Engine. Uh, we call it the data store. So it's not a database, it's a data store. Uh, interestingly, the primary API for the data store has always been 
an object relational management uh, system. And actually this, this whole talk is about a replacement or sort of an upgrade to that ORM layer. So the interesting thing is we also support a query language that is, is a very tiny subset of SQL because it really can only query and it can only do very simple queries because being no SQL, it doesn't actually support things like joins very well. Uh, however, the query language that we do offer is literally implemented on top of the ORM layer, which is exactly the opposite uh, from the way that most people sort of consider ORMs, object relational uh, managers. So our, our ORM is a very fundamental API in our design, and many people uh, use that and sort of over the years, we found that there were some issues with the ORM, and that's what this project came out of. So the original ORM was called DB uh, for no particularly good reason. So the new ORM layer uh, for Python is called NDB. It's the new DB, and we, we don't actually talk much about what the N stands for. So a little sort of, yes, what? Um, I'm being interrupted. Yeah, sorry. Um, we have a problem with the resolution. and we cannot record it. I am so sorry, we need to change the resolution. Let me switch to the finder so I can actually find the menu. What resolution do, we need, do you want me to use? Uh, it should be fine. It seems fine. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm using a very large font. This is the font I'm using on most of the slides, or maybe a few points smaller, so I can easily switch to 800 if that's uh, easier for you. Uh, let's try. Is that better? It's probably the, 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 the uh, cable. It's not an official Apple uh, cable. <laughs> I mean, that was, I was using one uh, yesterday morning that seemed to work fine. Yeah. You mean that one has disappeared, huh? Okay, Sorry. here we go. Let's see where this takes us. Yes. Okay, so uh, before I was interrupted, I was trying to uh, do a little proud rara about how, ma how much stuff is actually being served from App Engine. Uh, we did serve 7.5 billion hits uh, one day. Uh, we have about a million ap active applications. Now, active doesn't mean that uh, they have a lot of uh, requests, but they are being used. Uh, so that's anything from, from applications that hit thousands of requests per second to applications that get hit a few times a day, probably. We have 250,000 